Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So we're going to talk about Zen, the price. Will it stay down? Will this be a forever down cryptocurrency? I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. We're going to talk about WorldCoin. Can it replace Bitcoin, right? And we're going to speak a little bit on our project, Bitcoin NYK as well. So let's talk about Zen, the forever down coin as uh, it has been deemed uh, in recent times. Uh, apparently not down today, though. It looks like it's up about 10%. Um, so it doesn't seem to be exactly moving in one direction. Of course, people who love to trade, I say love to trade because uh, many people who know me would know that I only probably perform uh, several trades a month, uh, not many for the entire year um, that uh, many of my prospects are long term. And I understand some people just love to trade every day. They're in a different cryptocurrency. And of course, that just goes a lot with your uh, your trading techniques in cryptocurrency and, um, you know, what works for you. Um, some people feel the more they trade, maybe they get better at it or they have better success. And some people feel the more they trade, the worse things get. Uh, where, where, whatever category you fall into, I'm sure that you can analyze where you fall and where you stand. Um, but in looking at Zen, as much as we've seen people uh, become uh, very negative about Zen, uh, because it's just not giving them the returns they want in the time frame they want. Uh, much like people who trade frequently, uh, you also have people jumping from coin to coin, from project to project, right? Um, and um, in every case, that may not be a bad thing. Uh, I think what's hot on the horizon now is projects like Titan X, right? And uh, as I had been speaking with the community earlier, uh, projects like Titan X, um, to me, they don't seem to be unique. But what I will say about Titan X is that there would be seem to be is trying to create this incentive into getting development teams there, getting developers there and such. Uh, these techniques and tactics are nothing new. What's funny about the cryptocurrency space is that it always tries to reinvent a pretty clear narrative, a pretty uh, based narrative. And that is that, uh, you know, these projects are dramatically changing year from year. Oftentimes these are repeats, redundancy of techniques, projects, uh, platforms, structures of cryptocurrencies that have um, been done before, have existed before. And no matter how many times they've been done before and existed prior, they seem to all still yield the same results. It's still very rare that you will see projects break out and do something unexpected. Even if they do, they seem to not do so well, right? Uh, prior to this, uh, a lot of the uh, connective tissue of these communities were projects like Postchain and Hex. Now, with all the innovation, all the money, all the marketing, all the hype to become one of the biggest communities in cryptocurrency, um, that still doesn't seem to be helping it much these days. And the eventuality of these projects, uh, they have still failed to do anything on a level like what you might get with your Bitcoins and Ethereums, right? Even though uh, many times the narratives was they could do better. Just haven't done it, right? Uh, and so when new projects pop up, my thought process is unless they have some type of dynamic, incredible uh, component to it, that it's probably going to share the same fate, right? Now, again, Zen has made many mistakes that I have voiced my opinions about. It's performing the best now in Ethereum, but I think Ethereum is the worst uh, platform it should be on. It should be on the ones with lower fees, right? 
why do I say that? Why am I so anti these other formats and projects like Zen, projects like Titan X that uh, I, it's not that I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm against the project, but it's just that I'm not uh, impressed by the project, right? And, um, and so uh, that's why I say there's nothing unique there within Titan X. Uh, and this is why I say that Zen should have stayed on, uh, the focus should have been on chains like whether it be Optimism or Avalanche or something like that and specifically ignore platforms like Ethereum, forget the price. Everything that Zen tried to do on Ethereum as far as supporting its price, holding its price, hasn't worked. That part doesn't matter. That's the least important part of the structure of Zen. Now, this will be corrected in 2024. That's another thing a lot of people are forgetting that many of the components that I think have held Zen back will get corrected 2024 with their own chain, where they're not going to have the fees like what you have on Ethereum. They can get completely away from that. That's very smart. Zen is a fantastic project that people are missing. They're repeating the Zen mistake. Everything that copies another project is going to repeat the same mistake, right? Zen tried to hold this value up on Ethereum by being on Ethereum. Titan X is going to try to do a similar thing. It's not going to work, in my opinion. The reason that the access needs to be so easily available, cheap, is to get so many people in this participatory economy to where they're almost getting there for free. This is the same component set up as Bitcoin MYK, right? Why is that? Because participatory economies create Metcalf's Law. What is Metcalf's Law? It simply means all the accounts and connections that come in, the more valuable that network becomes, right? All of the focus on short-term crypto gains, can I get rich? Can I make a little bit of money here and there? Are never going to yield the results and enough stability and value to your network to matter. It's not going to be a lot of people in Titan X. It's not going to be a lot of people in Zen Crypto on Ethereum, but it is possibly going to be a lot of people on Zen X1, its own blockchain, not bogged down by Ethereum gas fees, right? But the only reason Zen hasn't been able to achieve that now because it launched on Ethereum. It's got all the big players on Ethereum, right? It should have made the move like Hex and Pulse Chain made, right? And it tried to do that, but it's been slow in getting it out before Pulse, right? And getting it out before Hex. It should have, if anything, Zen should have beat Hex and Pulse to its own blockchain, right? But that's the past now. There's still a lot of great potential in Zen because it mirrors everything that creates Met Metcalf's Law, right? That's why, I saw, that's why I say that Zen is a much better project than Titan X a much better project than most cryptocurrencies out there. Makes most of them obsolete, to be quite frank with you. Um, but let's talk about something else now. I, I think that's cleared up the point. I'm not saying buy Zen, right? Uh, you guys know how I feel about Ethereum. I don't like Ethereum much. Uh, I'm waiting on this X1 blockchain. We know Zen's not moving in one direction. Some people are going to DCA it, going to dollar cost average it all the way down. And there are still positive market sentiment about Zen around the Zen space, right? And maybe a lot of that will come back when the chain launches in 2024. In any event, price should be the last of your focus right now, right? So what if pro new projects, there's going to be a new project popping up every month, guys. And just like a lottery, it's going to be always somebody who's missing out. It's, in fact, it's probably going to be more likely the majority is going to always miss out. And there's going to be FOMO into the next project and the newest project, right? It is a musical chairs dance that has gotten old for the serious investor. Hasn't gotten old for the gambler. Hasn't gotten old for people who don't really want to get anywhere with the space. But it's gotten old with the serious investor. 
Let's talk about rural corn as well because uh, I want to divide the video up. Talk about rural corn possibly beating Bitcoin, right? And it might be the only cryptocurrency that can actually do it. Let's talk about rural coin a little bit. We're talking about rural coin could potentially be the only serious cryptocurrency that can replace Bitcoin for so many reasons. I know this sounds kind of crazy to some people, but if you really think about it, there might be some things to consider with rural coin. I think the last video I did on rural coin, it was trading around $2.50. Jumped all the way up to four, I think close to five bucks. So just about get a hundred X. Excuse me, sorry about that, guys. Almost went up a hundred percent. It's at three dollars and sixty-three cents. This is a universal basic income cryptocurrency. This is giving away money free every month by the millions of dollars, right? And so how in the world is it able to sustain this price? Over $500 million has went into this project uh, since it started, right? It's probably getting closer to a billion because they're raising money on top of that. Um, this is serious to consider. Who's behind this stuff? You got the creator of the, the most advanced leap in artificial intelligence, Sam Altman, right? Started under uh, Elon Musk uh, with OpenAI, uh, spearheading this project, right? And you got a project that can uh, basically create identity, identify people on the blockchain without giving up their data, making so many things potentially possible on the blockchain from voting. We, the, the voting, the democratic process can be saved once again. Uh, this is very, very serious stuff, guys. Um, and you really have to do research and consider what this means, right? When you're dealing with a project like this. Uh, in recent times, right? There was this big uh, incident in Kenya uh, where the Kenya government and many other governments around the world, rightfully so, were concerned about data uh, being uh, obtained and controlled by rural coin. All of this data, and I, and I can go on and on about the importance of data and training artificial intelligence systems and whoever has the most people and the most data can win in the super AI race, right? Uh, what that means in, in layman's terms is that if China with billions of people more than most countries gets the super AI first from learning models from the people and the citizens, the data, they could have a leap ahead. And so it wouldn't be out of the scope of reality to be so concerned that projects like Rural Coin could be collecting this data, train AIs, what are they doing with this stuff, right? And so on and so forth, right? Uh, and so the concerns are rightfully so. But the evidence we have so far is that what's happening with the data from Rural Coin is that once it basically puts your identification with your iris, your eye, and now it's identified a unique person. This is a unique person who could do unique things online, like vote, uh, develop a credit profile as such, right? And, and banking and, and so on, right? All these important factors we need to be able to do on the blockchain. So all of that can be done with this technology. Can you see why that technology is so very important? So very important, so useful. You know, we always talk about uh, the reason that a cryptocurrency really would have value unless it's a meme coin would be if it had an actual use people use. The thing about Bitcoin is many of us don't feel Bitcoin have a use. Let's be honest. If you're a person who hasn't been in cryptocurrency for years, you might think Bitcoin is a big deal. But if you're a person who's really been inside cryptocurrency and researched it, you would understand that Bitcoin is considered by most of us dinosaur ancient crap, right? That thrives on nothing but brand effect. The technology itself is garbage. It's nothing good about Bitcoin. If you invest in it now, just to get a 2X, just to make 100% profit, Bitcoin would have to trade around $100,000, right? We don't know how difficult that will be. 
how hard that would be looking at it from right now we probably think it difficult right and all of that just to get a hundred percent return which is something in cryptocurrency that's not considered a lot because of the tremendous risk we take think about that a moment let that marinate with you a moment Royal coin has so much potential to go up so many use cases the entire world one to use it because by the price going up it's now it's not giving people to when it was like only a dollar or so and people were getting 25 bitcoins that was one i'm sorry 25 royal coin uh, 25 dollars in royal coin that was one thing now this thing's around four bucks so now you're getting like 80 dollars right if you go around to developing nations that's a lot of money that's a lot of free money for people right and you get it every month Right, you get something like uh, what is it? You get uh, over six coins. Uh, if you get six to eight coins per month, you're looking at about thirty bucks a month. That's significant. Thirty U.S. dollars a month. That's significant value for people globally, right? And knowing Worldcoin, this thing could become thousands of dollars. It has every reason to not only replace Bitcoin to be better than Bitcoin. It already is in so many respects. Now again. Uh, I mostly focus on fundamentals and use cases and you make your decisions from that. I just kind of tell you how it is. I never tell you to go out and buy these things. As far as I know, uh, especially well, all these projects I'm talking about, where, even if it's Zen, for the most part, Zen, you can get it for free uh, by not using Ethereum. You can go mint it on Optimism. You go rent it on. They got so many uh, of these other chains. They got Polygon and so on. And it's almost, if it, it feels free. Uh, Worldcoin, uh, if you're willing to do the iris scan, right, uh, which a lot of people around the world are, they're lined up around corners as we got to see. Uh, if you're willing to do that, then you can obtain it free and so many free. And Bitcoin MYK, probably the best of them all. You don't have to do the iris scan, but you get the cryptocurrency free on BitcoinMYK.com. You can look in our description. You can look on our sites. You can look in our channel. And uh, I'm sure if you watch the channel, so if you're going, what the heck is Bitcoin MYK? Why is this in every video as well? Well, just think of it as Worldcoin with, without the iris scan with less of the intrusive qualities, right? Uh, but also not the war chest, not the capital behind it like Worldcoin has. So Worldcoin has the money to become the juggernaut, the best cryptocurrency in my opinion, Based on fundamentals, and, 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 and understand what I'm saying here. It's not so much that I want this to happen. It's not so much that I want Royal Coin to be the best cryptocurrency. It's not so much that I want everybody in the world to receive some type of dividend or universal basic income. Because, for example, if we're in the 20th century, I would say it probably wasn't necessary. The economy was good. The job market was good. We weren't at the precipice of AI revolution. But we're in the 21st century. Things change. Times have changed. Economies change. And we have to change with the times, right? So that is something uh, uh, vastly different than um, what's happening, you know, in our world today and what was happening then. Worldcoin is back to business in Kenya as co-founder I's next growth phase right so they're back in kenya right whatever i don't know how they were able to accomplish this right i don't know if they're going to have the same success in the uk and throughout europe a lot of regulations over there but what we do know is whatever was done whatever was said whoever they spoke with the kenyan government decided that hey this is a good idea right to get this money right coming through here which kind of makes sense right what and so what I can see is there's gonna be a lot of use case for Royal Coin. These people are gonna be able to go in and uh, do a lot of local business with their merchants and such. And you're talking real use cases on the ground, folks. You're talking real use cases, right? Real identification, right? Without identifying you, saying that you're a unique actual person. It's not. It's not gonna be like with Bitcoin, right? Where Bitcoin has millions of hundreds of millions of wallets and it's the same guy controlling the entire network it's like 87 percent of the bitcoin network is owned is owned by one percent 
That won't happen in Royal Coin. In Royal Coin, you're going to see who all, and these are going to be the actual individual people. Does that make sense? You're not going to have more than four sets of, or more than two sets of eyes. So that's all very important stuff. I, I think this is a lot more important than you all understand. And I would encourage you to look more into the technology so you don't get caught up in the, the data misuse. Now, that's not saying that the data can't be uh, compromised, right? Even though it's destroying that, it's, it's destroying that data afterwards, there is a process, right? Where it, where throughout that process, security risks aren't zero, right? So you, we, we don't have a system yet where security risks are at zero. So what we're saying is, it's good security, but it's not at zero, right? Does, does that make sense? Is that clear? So if it's not at zero, that means throughout that process, it, there could be compromise where maybe data can be gotten, right? It's possible. Uh, I'm confident in what they've done, you know, uh, from my research on the project, how they protect the data, how it's destroyed so it doesn't go back to you. But nothing's impossible. So there's always going to be that some risk, like hack, hack risk as such. It's there. But it's ever so much closer to solving so many blockchain problems and use cases, etc. Right? These people in these various nations, there are so many lining up per day. I, I, I read the number somewhere. It is a great amount of people. Right. About 635 Kenyans were said to have downloaded the app as of September. That's just in Kenya. It's happening all across the world. It's happening all throughout uh, um, uh, Southeast Asia and, and many other nations. Right. Many other places. When you look at projects like Bitcoin, MYK, what you have to comprehend is that this is just like rural coin. I call this the rise of the UBI coins, right? All these coins providing citizens with dividends that incentivizes them to use these projects and platforms using Royal Coin, using Bitcoin, MYK alongside each other, even Zen to a great degree, right? These are what I believe is going to be the, uh, the, 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 the great coins, right? These are the, these are the projects that I think get it. And that are actually going to to solve the problems, right? These this is these are my thoughts, right, uh, on this, right? And and I, and I think that's what's going to happen because the fundamentals are solid for them to happen, right? So I would invite you all to join absolutely free Bitcoin MYK today, um, especially if you're starting to really take notice of Royal Coin to get in. I always tell you guys to do your research. I always tell you that this isn't financial advice. Um, again, the channel Education Entertainment Television Show. It's a reason why our subscriber count is low. Uh, <laughs> because I don't expect it to be hype content. I don't expect you to think you're going to get rich. I expect to give you information that's going to set you free. That's going to educate you. And it's going to give you the tools you need, right? Um, and so I think this is going to be the best approach to that going forward into the future. Uh, whereas, of course, I don't think it's going to be meme coins. I don't think it's going to be Titan X. Uh, I think I've done a good job on outlining the reasons why I think Zen, the Zen protocol, uh, will operate better than Titan X because it understands the concept of the participatory economy and building networks and Metcalf's law, whereas I think Titan X is just another formulation of some get rich project, some hex like project, etc. Right? And so uh I think that's all I want to say in this video. I would love to hear uh you guys' opinions on this, what you think about this, um, and so on. But until next time, take care of yourselves and each other, and don't forget to join Bitcoin MYK.